in this video, we're going to configure HAProxy as a proxy between a web browser and a cluster of web servers. We're going to keep it very simple. We're not going to deal with uh, SSL or TLS or HTTPS, and we're not going to deal with multiple servers in the back end in the pool. But you will certainly get a good idea of how this all comes about. Let's get started. We go to services and HAProxy. If you don't see it there, go over to System, Package Manager, Available Packages, and search for HA Proxy, and make sure you install it. In the Settings tab, enable it. We must set a maximum number of connections. I've set it to 10, but you would set it to whatever you need. Go down to the bottom and hit save. Apply. We need to set a back end before we create a front end. Click add. Give it a name. We'll call it web cluster. Click this down arrow to add a server. We'll say web cluster server one with an address of Two one six eight eleven dot. Uh, sorry, we'll say ten dot. Uh, yeah, ten dot ten on port eighty. We can set uh, SSL stuff here with certificates, but we're going to skip over that for now. We can skip all the way to here for health checks if we have it set to HTTP. It will check port 80 periodically. These are the settings that we'll use to manage that, but the defaults are fine for us. We can go down to the bottom and hit save. Apply. Go to the front end. Add. We'll give it a name. A description. Make sure it's active. We'll specify on which interface we want this to work and on which port. For us in our lab, we need to use LAN, but typically you would use WAN. We're using port 801, so we don't interfere with uh, the management console of PFSense. Go down to the bottom and hit save. Apply. Now we can see that the front end and the back end are not linked. In the front end, we need to make sure that we specify the default web cluster and save. Apply. Now we can see it's configured correctly. If we go to the firewall on the WAN, we would need to make sure that port 801 is enabled if we were using the WAN interface. Like I've said, we're using the WAN interface and that already allows me through. So if we go to 192.168.11.2 uh, on port 801, we now get a Ubuntu uh, default Apache page. That is the, the backend that we specified in the configuration. At this point, we are done. Thank you very much.